uh, Bergen. Bergen was the home of the Hanseatic League for many years, and that meant that ships came from many places in Europe and traded with the Norwegians. That's why many Bergen residents are not blonde and blue-eyed. They have inherited the merged bloodlines of their Norwegian, Spanish, French, and German ancestors. We arrived in Bergen on a Thursday morning and immediately had lunch out on the wharf. Christina Gaffney, our travel planner, met us and gave us a two-hour tour of the wharf area. Here are a few of the highlights of her tour. And the houses, as you see them now, they are 300 years old, uh, but the architecture is actually 900 years old. They uh, have burned down many times and have been rebuilt, and I'm sure you've heard of the Great Chicago Fire, the Great London Fire. We have had 28 of those. So 28 major city fires where the entire city has burned down and been rebuilt again. But this area only seven times because they had a law here saying that, uh, a law here saying that um, uh, they should use no fire. So very strict fire regulation how practical they were. They were, uh, they built these galleries where they could stand protected from the bad weather in Bergen. We have about 220 days of rain a year. So if you don't like rain, you shouldn't come to Bergen. <laughs> Except today, the sun is shining. And this is uh, a fire escape. So you can see it's very open, divides the area in two. And that's because we had the warehouses down by the water. But up here in the back, they had assembly rooms. And the assembly rooms were the only buildings where they would have an open fire. So their kitchen was it in the assembly rooms. So they could cook over the open fire and make food. But imagine one of their laws said that they had to live uh, without fire. So no lights, no uh, heating and no hot meals. Except in the assembly room where they could come in the evening and have one hot meal before they went to bed. So this is an original assembly room. It's a very popular restaurant. It's sort of an institution here in Bergen. Bergen Hotkörstedt. And they serve food that is based on German and Bergen recipes. And it's a kid magnet. It is. Oh, you'll see all sorts of talk about that. <laughs> Norwegians are very clean. <laughs> they never make a mess. <laughs> it was Jane. Yeah. It was Jane. The non-Norwegian. <laughs> yeah. This is like a whole meal. So what did you think of that? Oh, I love it. Very mm. good. Yeah. Individual house in the city and the other one is mine. And it looks like this, oh. like it's been dropped from the sky. Oh, but in fact, these houses were likely built after around that. It. Yeah. It's the same with mine. Mm. Mine is from 1900 and then you have tall buildings around it. Oh. But from uh, up above it's really, really funny. Yeah. Well, no, mm. Those people up there don't have cars. They do. They do. A lot of them do. Because up there it, there is a proper road, but here you have all these narrow alleyways, so it's a little bit different. Yeah. But, and the higher up you get, the richer you are. <laughs> oh. Mm. So the bigger and more beautiful up there. Mm -hmm. Where are his shoes? Oh, there they are, on the next building. And then it was time to climb to Mount Floyen. We could have taken the funicular, but that would not have been as much fun. We decided to walk. On the way, we saw this remarkable tree and learned a little bit about it. Yeah. 
The views were fantastic and amazingly soothing. On the way, we saw our first Norwegian trolls. They weren't as animated as the trolls we will find in Hurta, but they were on top of the mountain nevertheless. The kids were having a lot of fun. This view here. Tell me about this view. This is a fantastic view, Mark. Where are we? We are on top of Mount Washington in Norway. Really? Mount Washington, I see. Are you sure about that? Yes. I think you've been overwhelmed by the. 15,000 feet up here. 15,000? 13,000. And how did you get here, John? I walked the whole way. Really? <laughs> Backwards or frontwards? Frontwards. I only know how to walk forward. <laughs> And let me just see that perspiration on your neck there. Yeah, I, I can see that you walked there. That's enough, Jack. And Jane, what do you think? I think it's spectacular. And how come? Well, take a look. I think it's better than that. So, Jane, where did you say your house would be, do uh, you think? Well, this is a good spot. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? I'm sure you could buy this, yes. Jane wants to buy that. <laughs> right up there. But then it was time to head down with a few more chances to see the views and take pictures of ourselves. We didn't have to worry about witches. Big Norwegian. <laughs> That night, we walked around the city and enjoyed the beauty of Bergen. It was sad not to see more of this wonderful city. <laughs>